All right, all right, all right. Yo, hello, hello, everyone, and welcome. I guess this will be. We're just gonna call this the second episode. <laughs> it's the second episode of Out of Fluff, and of course, you know, your host is me, Fluff. I ain't got nobody with me. I probably, I probably won't actually end up having any guests or any type of any. Uh, yeah, I guess basically or anybody to join until after I move, which I'm going to be moving in like next month. So until then, y'all just going to hear me talk about random bullshit. <laughs> but so quick little updates, you know, crazy. I, I think it's been a couple weeks. Since I did the first one, I just haven't posted it out until I think like sometime last week because of uh, I was waiting for my intro, which music for my intro definitely done by my name, Keese or Kiss that I'm I, I suck at saying names. So I'm sorry, homie, but he's definitely a, a up and coming artist. So I'm going to end up having the link in either. Uh, the YouTube or I'm gonna try to also have the link as well in the Spotify but I'm not sure how the fuck that works so I may just end up just mainly shouting them out in the description for the Spotify so you know to give him more credit because I don't know how you like you end up tagging people and stuff like that and I don't want to tag them to like the, the main thing but yeah dude it's amazing. I I actually really like it. The the beat is great. And then I did my little fucking video on um what this what the fuck is that website called? Like place it. Cause I forgot I had a subscription to that shit anyways. So I could if I wanted to start making startup little intro videos for people, but I feel like at that point I'll be scamming motherfuckers because I don't even know fully what I'm doing. I think I got lucky for this video looking this decent. But <clears throat> yeah, intro music definitely done by my homie. Y'all check him out. He's up and coming. He's not, he's actually not whack of a rapper. So check him out. But. For any of the watchers with your eyes, you like to look with your eyes instead of just listening with your ears. Uh, dude, my hair, I haven't taken a shower yet. So my hair is kind of crazy, messy. And I just basically woke up not too long ago, about five hours ago. <laughs> it's like it is it's eight o'clock right now in the morning. I've been up since about like three and I, I haven't I haven't taken a shower yet. I'm gonna end up taking a shower later on before I end up going out to DoorDash. But, but just let the hair be. It actually doesn't look that bad. I had to I had to do a little bit to it because it had the crazy ass bed hair where the shit was like, you got like the fro, and then it just like there's cuts corners and fucking triangles, this fucking trapezoid coming out of my goddamn head. It is looking crazy. So. Fix that up a little bit, but I, I haven't taken a shower yet, so I haven't done much with my hair. But, anyways, talking about showers though, y'all ever have like um shower thoughts? I have a lot of shower thoughts and I have a lot of uh daydreams. Say, for example, like you know, a shower thought I was in the shower, I think it was like a couple, a couple of days ago, I had like this thought, and I was like, you know. For dudes that that like you know still have sex with women, like you you raw dogging it with women that already have like four plus kids, like are you just are you just trying to be a part of the collection? Like do you do you just want to have your your shit there just to say like you know yeah I'm part of like the collection, you know? Because I was I mean at that point if she's still going. And it hasn't like, you know, gotten the tubes tied or anything like that. Like she's just going, going with the wind and she's obviously ash. Like 100% she's ash and she's trying to fill up a fucking Pokedex. 
dot fellas do do not get a part of the pokedex you don't want to you don't want to be a part of that seeing from the whole different memes the other different videos i like that y'all seen like that one that one video where the dude i think it was like a video or some shit it was either that or a picture but it was like the girl was complaining because he only bought his son mcdonald's and didn't bring any any of the other kids mcdonald's <coughs> Bro, don't be a, don't be a part of that Pokedex. Bro, don't do that. That shit ain't worth. Like it's, it'll, it'll be. I guess it's like different if, you know, she mainly had, like majority of those kids are like you know all those kids from one dude. That's different. That's not really you know you, she's she's not really collecting something something actually happened to where them two you know parted ways so that's just you know baby that's baby daddy drama that's more that could be i feel like that could be more doable than you dealing with the pokedex so that was just my thought of like you know dude I, <laughs> are dudes just trying to be a part of the collection or or what and that's crazy. I couldn't. I couldn't ever do that. Imagine you waking up one morning and thinking you, you never thought to yourself probably on that day you was gonna fuck a chick that got four plus kids and you gonna raw dog her because she you thought it was a good idea. Dude, that post nut clarity must hit so fucking hard right after dude they, they gotta hit so hard that it should don't even start making sense <clears throat> you trying to think about how the fuck you even got there or you probably even thinking about like damn man you know what the fuck am i gonna do now i'm about to be number five <clears throat> I'm like Cause I don't think, you know, most dudes are not thinking in their head, like, oh, I'm gonna stay with this chick and I'm gonna help raise these other little kids, like, you know, the little chaps, not even your chaps. It's just random people chaps. I'm gonna take care of some other strangers' kids as I take care of my kids. Fuck no, dude. Do that shit. That don't even sound right. That shit don't sound right at all. And then daydreams are even are even crazier too, cause they're like little they're like little flashes that just happen. And they're not really like thoughts, they're just like, you know, what if scenarios, basically. Or even like thinking about like, you know, just something random. Like you could be looking into the sky and then you start like, you know, dreaming about something or just spacing out and you start dreaming. So yeah, that'd be crazy. Never had a daydream while you took a shit. I don't know either. <laughs> Cause I know that y'all was probably thinking like, what the fuck? Like, nah. I don't think that ever happened to me. But I thought about that as I was taking a shit. So I guess like it's a shit thought. Like if I ever daydream while taking a shit, cause I daydream a lot. Like there's so much shit that I just like kind of just start spacing out. Like somebody can be having a, like a whole conversation with me. And then I'll either get one or two things that will happen that will get me to distract it from it. One is, I have like a a ringing in my ear and sometimes it's so loud that I can't hear anybody talking. It's just like a beep, like, like that. And then fucking other times it's like, it's if I'm daydreaming about something cause they said something like funny or they said something and I thought of something funny and then I started daydreaming about it. Like this, uh, this one time while I was in, uh, the military, 
uh, one of the guys, he was talking about, uh, he was like one of the instructors or whatever. He was talking about his times of like being in like Afghanistan or something like that. And then he said, he said the two words, planet rock. And thanks to, uh, my lovely mother, I know, I know where like, you know, planet rock was coming from for me like like old school planet rock like that little say like we did i forgot how the fuck it goes it's like we didn't land on planet whatever or whatever the fuck i started daydreaming about that and i was like daydreaming like i was actually <coughs> or he was actually like standing on top of a rock Saying that, you know, I just got here on this rock. But I didn't get here, but the, but I didn't bring the rock to me or something like that. Or something, something weird. I, I think what's fucking me up right now is because I can't remember the stupid ass fucking a saying. But y'all, y'all old heads are like, you know, if you've been in, if, if you've been in a vehicle with your mother and you're from the South, then you automatically know. But yeah, dude, I think about half of these topics are actually shower thoughts, just to let y'all know. I, I kind of like thought about that just now. I had a lot of my thoughts and my topics from being in the shower. Dude, the shower is like, I don't know, we should, we should like start taking some classes while in the shower. Something. I don't know what it is about the shower, but you get so many good thoughts from being in the shower. Like I'll be in the shower for dumb long because I ha this right here takes me just about twenty minutes. Like my hair takes me about like twenty minutes to go through because I like detangle it. Sham well, once a week shampoo, but like you know I I do like the little cold washing and I do that with my hair. So that going through there, even like if I'm detangling like with my fingers, that takes about like twenty minutes. So. Once you hit like that 30 minute mark of being in a shower, man, you just start having thoughts and that's when it starts kicking in. So it always kicks in for me. Like I'd be having, I'd be having some of the craziest thoughts, like either like topic ideas or like ideas that I think are good. I don't know, man, it's even crazier than you know, the longer that you in there, the more shit that you can start doing, honestly. And especially if you listen to music, I started rapping over over uh different artists on their beats it'd be like a song that's playing it'll be some like drake song that's playing and drake you know he's still like singing he's like still in the song because it's not just the instrumental but i'll be talking over that motherfucker because i'll be having hella bars to spit hella bars but that's only why in the shower that them shits go away right after like if i was a rapper like i would have to be doing all my raps in the shower so people would just constantly hear a with a couple of a couple of water droplets in the background as well. But my bars would be on point though. To keep it on honey with you, it'll be on point. So yeah, man, y'all you know, take longer showers and then y'all start having all these different great ideas, thoughts, doing shit that you thought that you'd never be able to do before in your life. I don't know, y'all. Y'all think about it. For me, I take long showers because of that. But just remember, though, when shower thoughts be hitting different, they be your good thoughts. <clears throat> if it's a plan, dude, go go through with that plan. All right. There's actually a thought that I had and I think I went a little bit too deep into detail with it too and I think it was crazy like have you ever have you ever thought about if you were the owner of a country like what would you do or how would you have it set up and everything I got into like that type of thought like I'd I would definitely want to be an owner like if I was the owner of a country it would be <clears throat> it would be like a smaller country but not too small though. 
I think like a country would probably be the size of like a state, like a regular size state. I think that would be good enough for me. Or like, give me, give me a country that's the size of Colorado. I can deal with that. Yeah, size of like Colorado. I can, I can work with that. Or give me, give me North and North and South Dakota. Better yet, give me that. That's all that I would need is that much space. The I'd I'd be able to control the country so fucking well. It'll be a dictatorship. No if ands or buts around it, dude. I don't need anybody's fucking wanna be inputs and shit like that. Like you're not you're and you're not taking me out either, bro. It'll be a dictatorship. I would have people like I would have people that be up under me and I think I it was like a list. It was like a list of different people that I feel like I would I would definitely need. Like, of course, a dictator, you're always going to need uh, a right hand, of course. Because even if you are a dictator and you're running shit, everything yourself, you would still want that person. You would still want that right hand to kind of, you know, help you put sense into yourself. Of saying like, you know, this shit ain't good. But then I would have a person. I would need a I would need a lead for treasury. I would need a a lead for uh military a command in chief basically i would need a lead for uh logistics because that would have to be one of my big things and like just in general because i would need to get shit from other places so i would definitely need a whole like logistics trading person basically or that could be two different things logistics and then uh uh a trading person what the fuck are they called like marketing people or something like that definitely would need that um yeah i think mainly those five is the main ones that i would need because i feel like i could be able to handle everything else myself but i would need those people oh and then there's other people that i would need as well like you know definitely for having people come over to the country i would need niggas that are good with like tourist shit so even like going down through a whole hospitality management bullshit or whatever the fuck basically so we can get money into the country i would need people like that so you know and then plus i think with a good like population of around like a mill would be good enough for me to control the whole country like a million people or you know give or take you know more or less around basically that'd be cool i'd definitely do that and then i think even like for taxes i think taxes i would just keep it at a flat 10 percent because honestly it's only it's only y'all it's, it's only like a million people what the fuck do i need a high ass like 15 20 percent tax rate for it like dog 10% tax um have to 100% do away with HOAs dude no HOAs whatsoever inside this country keep up with your own shit bro now you will get fined though if your shit fucking dirty and shit like if you if you keep in kid kid toys outside for like days on end and you gotta that's a fine bro if your shit if your shit is like dirty it's a fine bro we gonna have some clean ass motherfuckers uh this isn't as i said this is a dictatorship so we we gonna make sure that shit is fucking right and honestly we 100 percent will have to change the goddamn educational system as well i thought about that shit too y'all motherfuckers gonna stop learning about rocks by the time you hit 12 okay get them get them rock shits out of your head let's fuck that you can get back into rocks for education uh, like a degree <coughs> but 
And during this time where you're going to be learning, you, it's going to branch off. High school is going to branch off into like four different paths, I guess. But there's going to be multiple different paths. You're going to either have the educational route, political route, engineering, uh, medical. Uh, what else is there? Um, what the fuck did I say? Shit. I forgot. Hold on. So what? Political, educational, um, engineering, uh, dude, fuck, bro. But, but you know what I mean? Like you, I think it'll be like probably like 10 max that these motherfuckers are going to. All right. You gonna get t ten max. You can. There's different jobs inside of like you know these pathways, but there's only gonna be ten different pathways that it is gonna be starting up. And basically, we're gonna have ten different. And this is like high school, like up to middle school. It's gonna be regular, but when high school hits, dog, we're branching out, bro. We're branching out. You are gonna end up taking an aptitude uh, out. Altitude, aptitude, whatever the fuck. Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. Test. And then that's going to determine which of the ones that you can go into and that you can't go into. And then it's going to probably give you like a top three of which one that you can go into. And then you can choose by that three. And you can't choose no other ones, bro. We're going we gonna to balance out for which people go to where. So, and we all gonna be working, bro. We all gonna be working. Because that's gonna be the main thing to keep all these motherfuckers inside of a house is work. So, I'm just gonna end up establishing some type of laws that's saying that all you motherfuckers gotta work, basically. And then, of course, you know, I would try to have to pay to where it's everything is like manageable, like living, even if it's like, you know, like two, like even if it's like two dollars an hour or some shit like that of my fucking country's currency, because fuck all y'all other ones, I would be independent as fuck. That would still equal up to basically, you know. It'll be minimum wage, but affordable minimum wage. So you can still, you can be in a one bedroom apartment or like a studio by yourself off of minimum wage. That's where all these marketing niggas is going to come into play. So where you're going to keep shit balanced. And it's going to be just like that. Everything is going to be all nice and dandy. Actually, that's a lie. That's going to be problems, but it's going to be nice. It's going to be better than America till you could. But yeah, no, I thought about it a lot. I was going to make y'all a PowerPoint. Now, nigga, if I get into a PowerPoint and tell y'all about all these thoughts that I had of having a country, I might just make the fucking Declaration of Independence for my country. Fucking around with that shit. And especially if I'm on cloud nine. Bro. Let me be on cloud nine and pop an Adderall for y'all. Shit. Call that yin yang, bro. We bounced. But yeah. But, uh, did, did y'all end up seeing or have y'all heard of uh, the Kendrick Lamar phone? The up to date, AKA new trap phone, basically. Where that shit is minimal as fuck. I think I have it pulled up. Hold on, let me see. It's, it's, it's just a trap phone. And that's all it is. I think it's called light. Hold on, let me see. Switch it over here. Yeah. It's called light. 
and fucking uh that shit hella out of place and well it is it's like a it's a little phone uh let me get to it it's like a is that that's all that it is the smallest screen is it looks like a little teeny tiny phone dude it's a little trap phone you know it will never have social media clickbait news it don't even got email bro no internet any other anxiety inducing infinite feed that's a fucking collage of words to say together dog it's a trap phone bro that shit ain't got no gps no internet you get contacts i think a calendar music and like notes i think and then that's it look yeah dude you don't get nothing bro it's a trap phone it's just an up-to-date trap phone that shit even got it it's still a phone jack yeah 100 percent a trap phone it's a ghetto ass apple <laughs> They got sim look sim plans and shit. I wonder how long this is actually gonna last. Like, if people are actually gonna be doing this, or how much money that they're even gonna get. Because you can't even like update it that much, so you can't just keep making new phones. Because there's no you you have to redesign the whole new phone. And they already basically went up to what the design can be for any phones now. Like next, they'll probably make like a flip. Like, but yeah, dog, one hundred percent a trap phone. You don't see, you see any anybody with this phone? They're drug dealers, and they're not just starting off either. How much are these phones? I think they're like menu plant shop. Here we go, three hundred. 300 325 because you got to get that you got to get that protective case they even got leather phone covers all for a trap phone look look they even got their own headphones protective case dude fuck the screen protectors because them shits break so easily and then the screen don't even get close to breaking with it's not even worth it. Three three twenty-five. Dog. Honestly, hear me out. Hear me out. Honestly. That ain't bad. If you trapping, that ain't bad. I wonder whose phone ser who whose services that they use though, because they ain't gotta have they ain't got their own services. They ain't got their own towers. Whose towers are they using? As a lock, it can be used with the following carries. Oh, shit. Duh, they're only selling the fucking phone. What the fuck? Why the fuck did I think that they had their own services like this? Oh, that's stupid. I'm so stupid. They're only selling the phone. What the fuck? So it works for any service. <laughs> Dog. Look. If I, if I was a drug dealer, I'd get this phone and anybody that I deal with gets put to this phone and they will never know anything else about me except they have my number and I can call them <laughs> they can call me. That's it. Why the fuck does this have a calculator? Oh, look. A calculator, bro. A calculator? Next thing you know, this phone, the light three is gonna have a scale on the bitch. Like you're gonna be able to put all your shit right on top of the phone. And then that shit's for some reason gonna measure that bitch. And they're gonna be like, 
it ain't gonna be as accurate as a regular scale but it's gonna be close enough to where you can you know you can you can sell off dime bags just off of your phone but i'm gonna tell you bro the fuck you got a calculator for but you ain't got other shit you you ain't got no emails but you got a calculator bro what yeah, I bet it got a calculator, it got a calendar, you can play music and shit. You can text people, call them. So yeah, there's an alarm, bro. Everything that you need to just trap is on this phone. Like, <laughs> bro, and it's for $300, dog. $300. You're going to get the case too. So it's $325. And you about to, and you, you about to just be living, bro. Cause you can get some cheap ass service like Mint Mobile, I think $15. Yeah, dog. Even and if I was like a fucking a kingpin or some shit like that, I'll be passing out these phones to my niggas too. Be like, here y'all go. Y'all use these phones to communicate with each other. Hey. That shit wild. Trap. Trap phone. The new generation trap phone. AKA light phone. Crazy. That shit is wild. At least I know I, I can be able to get a phone, though. If I ever need to start trapping, I can get a phone. So, yeah. It's just wild. Well, but you know what's more wild? I'm not sure if I said this earlier, but uh, y'all remember from the first episode or the last episode, I was talking about, yeah, you know, I got a job now and shit. Yeah, y'all go ahead and cut that out. I ain't got that no more. I got laid off. Bro, that shit's wild. I got I got laid off because I didn't generate enough leads. But the problem is, is when he looked in the system, he only saw the leads that I had. Dude, I threw a whole bunch of people that I had inside of Busy because they just said, oh, I can't do it right now. Uh, I ain't got no money. Uh, I'm just not interested no more. I'm not chasing after those people. Wasting my time. So I threw them in a busy. I had like a good probably around like 30, 40. But I threw out about half of them motherfuckers and I only had 18 left. So, hey. Hey. I guess it is what it is. Gotta find another job. Damn. <laughs> Shit. So I am about to have to probably get that trap phone. Maybe we'll end up seeing. But damn, dude, it's already been like 30 minutes. I only talked about two things. Fuck this. That's crazy. I just want to let me, I just want to speak on this before. I don't think this should be this long, but I feel as though every man should at least do two years. In the military. A matter of fact. Yeah, every every man. Every man should at least do two years. Because, dude, there is so much. <coughs> that the military just teaches you in general. And. A lot of people nowadays, you know, you just you like a lot of a lot of the kids these days just need to be taught how to be closer to like a man of how like basically how to be more of a man. So, yeah, dog, throw, throw these motherfuckers in, in the military for like two years. Even though they're just going to be partying because that's all that military is now is just party, 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 party. But. Nah, dog. To you, every, I I would say everyone, but 
yeah, I feel as I feel as though people should definitely serve at least two years, and then if they want to stay in to tack on like that extra four years. So it's basically like six years that they're in the military. So much benefit that can end up happening both ways with either like the country. There's, there's essentially now more manpower. So that's, I guess like a plus. Because I know that it's been decreasing for people actually joining. Well, I know that for the Marines, I'm not sure about any other branch. But more more people should join the military. At least do like the two years like they do in like Korea. Do like the two years. And you don't need to do it like right as you get out, but you would have to do the two years before you turn 25. So basically at 23 or actually no at 25, you have to be doing it. Like once you turn 25 and you haven't done it yet, you would go immediately into it. Like your spot basically is already saved and ready and there for you. So, yeah. I think I think that would end up uh, working out pretty well. I don't really see no downfall in doing it, and of course, women could do the same thing, but it just won't be a requirement, and it'll probably stick to like the regular contracts that we have now, which is the four years, instead of doing the two and then the four. But if you if you end up doing six years, then I feel like there should be no inactive that you do. So if you do like the two years and then you want to attack on the four, then there should be no inactive and then you still get the benefits. Like if you do the two years of service in the military, you don't get the fucking benefits. I'm sorry. That's just two years, bro. And for some people, depending on that job, a whole year is just going to be in you in the schoolhouse. So nah. You don't you don't get no handy dandy uh improvements or anything after two years. Or you don't get no benefits basically. You don't get schooled or anything because that you just met the requirement. Now you can go live more of like your free life. So yeah. But if you go beyond that requirement and do like the extra four years to get up to six, then you get the benefits. And stuff like that. And then it can just go up by people can either pick between um four or five year contracts, I think. No, I think four. I think I have to stick to four. Four years after that, boom, boom, boom. All the way up to uh twenty. So yeah. I don't think I really did the math right for that, but I know what I mean. You could just keep on going up or no three years until 20. Nah, math. Mm. Oh, I'm not going to figure that out right now, but yeah, I can do that. I think that'll work out pretty well. But again, thank you everyone for tuning in for either looking at me or just even listening to my voice. But thank you again for listening. Of course, don't just do more, be more. And y'all have a wonderful day. Peace.